Today we're working with pork tenderloin. It's actually one of my favorite cuts of meat. It's super tender, obviously. It's got really good flavor and it's very reasonable. So I always like to uh, marinate my pork tenderloin before I get it going, but before I marinate it, I do want to remove a lot of the silver skin and fat that is actually not gonna cook out. So um, in a, in a ribeye, there's lots of good fat that's marbled into the meat that's going to keep the protein nice and tender versus this right here. This is actually called silver skin. This won't cook out and it's actually very chewy and it's something that we do want to remove. And that's it. Those four just took a minute and then all this here is all trash because we do not want that on our pork. Then we'll get ready for the marinade. Now that my pork's been all uh, fabricated and ready for the marinade, I'm just gonna put together the marinade. We have our crushed garlic that we did earlier in the video. I actually made a quick little dry rub with a bunch of dried herbs, um, a lot of dried oregano, but no salt. Whenever you make your own dry rub, the salt will go right to the bottom. So I always keep that separate so that I can keep it nice and evenly dispersed. Then I have some lemon, salt, and pepper. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to zest real quick. A lot of times home cooks will use a zester or a cheese grater like this that is a little more coarse. This is fairly coarse. And even though this is pretty fine, it's actually still too coarse. So I actually use what's called a microplane and I just go through here. It's easiest if I ground it on my board and I'm just gonna go through, rotate. The goal is to get all of that um, yellow on the outside, but none of the white, which is actually a little bitter and pithy. And then also when I marinate, it's uh, totally up to you guys. You can use a lot of different um, bowls and containers for marinating. I actually love using a Ziploc bag or a plastic bag for a couple reasons. Number one, I'm lazy and then I have to wash one less bowl. But number two, you can actually pull out all the air out of these bags and you get a lot more surface area and you just get a lot better of a marinade in my opinion. So I love using the bags for all the marinades going out to the grill or in the oven. And then you guys will see I get all that right there and that's more than enough for my marinade. So I'm actually gonna start putting this together. I'm just gonna add my garlic, some of these dried, dry rub that I put together. And then before this goes on the pork, I'm just gonna go through real quick and do salt. I feel like doing salt separately always gives me way more control and a lot more even seasoning this way. Flip these guys over, make sure you season both sides of your food. Since we eat both sides, we want everything to be super nice and evenly distributed. A little bit of black pepper. Of course, you have to have a little bit of olive oil. So I'm actually just gonna um, get everything evenly mixed in here and then throw it into a bag. I have that right here. And then I have my mix, which is nice and combined. And I'm just gonna go through, rub this on each tenderloin, make sure that I really get in, get everything marinated evenly get all the herbs and garlic dispersed, and then we're gonna pop this into a bag, let this sit in the fridge for just at least an hour. If you wanna go overnight, that's even better, but we're just gonna do a quick little marinade, and we'll get in the bags and in the fridge. Here's what I do, if I, have to, if I don't have a lot of time and I wanna marinate something, but I don't have a lot of time, I just go a little more aggressive on the seasonings, go a little heavier since the meat's not gonna absorb as much, versus if I'm doing like a long one or even 48 hour marinade, I'll actually kind of scale it back just a pinch because it's gonna intensify as it's sitting for a couple days. 